Hello sports fans, my name is Steven Wolf. Welcome to another reaction video to Yuri Trees, the greatest game of uh, the Miami Dolphins and Cincinnati Bengals. I truly believe that this was one of those games that, well, a few of us believe that it was one of those games that like would go oh and something versus winless team versus winless team, but it did not happen. Oh, thank God it did not happen. But some people say, no, we didn't get good draft picks. Oh, it's like... Draft picks are a gamble, really, you know. Even if you do tank, you're basically betting on everything for a person who may be a bust or not. And, yeah, that could either... You wait, basically wasted a whole season doing nothing for nothing. I personally didn't... Dolphins didn't tank. tank, at least, you know, on purposely at first. But, you know, Flores basically... It, here's the thing about tanking. The organization may tank, but the players and the coach staff say, mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, we'll play, but we'll not play to lose. We won't play our best. We will not play to lose. Wink. Or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what Yuri Tree has to say about this. And he better take back all he says. If the Dolphins basically cause, you know, the Patriots to, you know, lose because they didn't get that bye. And please, Ryan Tannehill, do your best. I want to see his face like, oh, they actually did something right. I don't know. That's that's a pipe dream, basically. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, enjoy the video. Three, two, one, and play. A new day begins. For the citizens of this sleepy town, it may seem to be an ordinary Sunday. But to the many tank enthusiasts across this great football nation, an epic clash is about to begin. The final showdown for the greatest prize in the tank offs. The first overall pick. It's Tank Bull! Woo! 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 Two years ago, you told me Tank Bull was going to happen in Miami a few times. I would say you're crazy. In the battle for Burrow. Yes, the name changed as Tua got injured and sucks as a prospect now because glass hips. But what we do know are the contenders. The Cincinnati I Bengals. don't think Finest the Dolphins were tanking, at least not at first. Such and I don't box. think that they'll Only pick up a QB in the first the round or second. Their has finally done them some good for once. If a rumor is true, game, and I'm saying it, oh, actually, I'm crazy optimistic. This, I'm, I'm crazy if this actually came through. The Miami Brady may come to Miami. I am not saying he will. I mean, I'm actually saying it. If that crazy rumor is true, like, team and are yeah. So I wouldn't be mad if Fitzpatrick came back for a second season. Damn their coaches and players for wanting jobs next year. Perhaps they want more. Let's see what happens in the Titans uh, Patriots game. Place where such a battle can be held. Hard Rock Stadium. The home for many an outstanding tank bowl throughout the year. Maybe the Dolphins will finally wisen up to the critical nature of this game. If you were hoping that they would see the light, you would be burned. Just like the Bengals defense on most drives in the first half. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a veteran who knows what it's Here's like thing to about tanking. He's so it's effective that you could call the him staff and the there will be front no office survivors. wants to tank. The players Four and coach say, nope. The or at least, you know, they don't quietly say, anything. nope. The Dolphins responded to this affront to their winning with another touchdown. The route was on. I was actually in Atlanta when this game played. I was surprised that, well, they were I'll wait until, their he, until, until he brings it up. To smithereens to create the genesis of Joe Burrow. The era of Dalton will be over soon. Give him a pity field goal to go into halftime with six points. Miami would further beat them into the ground with another touchdown. There are dead bungles everywhere. Do not let this touchdown on the fourth down give you the wrong impression. They were given no mercy by Fitzpatrick's anti-tank weaponry. A 23-point lead for the Dolphins should put this game away. Fitzpatrick's not bad. I mean, I honestly would not be surprised if he played the league football. for another five years. This very day, in the year of our Lord, 2019 was to be blessed. Andy Dalton was given the arm of Zeus. His <laughs> thunderbolts were hurled into the heart of each and every one of his wide receivers. CJ Uzoma would be the next man to find the end zone. The lead now down to 16. All Miami had to do was run down the clock and they should be good. They can. Cincinnati gets the ball again. But perhaps for all of their effort, it won't be enough. The time ticks like sand in the hourglass. Dalton doesn't care. Tyler Boyd is the next man to receive such a gift. The two-point conversion, piece of cake. <laughs> now comes the hard part, the onside kick. Even for it having next to no success this year, 
the bungles recover. What an incredible hmm. sight. The Onside Dolphins kicks have been more successful lately. Tank. All they need is to re-embrace their bounty. Four seconds left. Dalton has time looking now, throwing in zone, and it is caught! Tyler Eifert! Can you feel it, lads? Can you sense the magic happening? Dalton, flushed out. <laughs> Reversed into a match of the guy was this we like going to overtime. The gods demanded more tanking for us to enjoy. The first overall pick must be earned. It cannot be given. <laughs> all of the would be It will lead us to the most satisfying outcome of all. A tie. The greatest tank Scott in a stalemate of the <laughs> It is so beautiful to think about the right now. Miami just has to. I'm sorry to say it. It's just, uh, it was just <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's like I, I gave myself the hiccups while like was laughing so hard. This is like hilarious. <laughs> I mean, at the first it was kind of like me, you know, like enjoying what he had to say about this whole entire game. I didn't think you actually go in a tie. Come on. Oh wow. Uh, the off scene is gonna be interesting. What happens, especially the draft? If things were to happen as you know, as 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 the rumors circulating, all that stuff, it could be pretty interesting and shape the NFL as we know it. If Brady does come here, I would uh, the, the the phenomenal would be crazy in Miami. Oh my god, that is like phenomenal, crazy. But we had successful people come here before. And not last more than probably five seasons. The same with the coaches for some reason, except for Miami. I mean, no big superstar or big name comes here for, you know, we traded. We traded or acquire off season comes here and stays for more than five seasons. That is like the definite definition of, you know, short term. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'll be back for the next reaction video when he does the Haters Guide to Super Bowl 2020 in Miami. Uh, so you'll see my reaction video when he posts that up eventually. All right. Thank you for watching my videos. See you next time.